Lindsay from Fit and Fabulous, and today I'm gonna show you how to make some yummy two bite protein brownies. Look at that bad boy. Does that not look good or what? These protein brownies are super easy to make. There's like four or five ingredients, like total is all you're gonna need to make these brownies. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So if you guys stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to make these yummy, fudgy, delicious, like melt in your mouth protein brownies. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lindsay and this is my YouTube channel. It is Fit and Fabulous. And I make videos like this every single week so I post videos on weight loss I do delicious recipes I do fun reviews I do lots of really really fun stuff on this channel so be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so you guys never miss a video like this in the future plus if you guys do like this type of video be sure to give me a thumbs up and that way I know to make more videos like this in the future so if you guys are ready let me show you exactly how to make these yummy mmm delicious look at I don't know if you can see that. Brownie. Oh, so good. So good, you guys. So, let's get started. So, the first thing we need for this recipe, of course, is a mixing bowl. And so we're gonna be using bananas. So we're just gonna basically kind of like puree some bananas or just kind of like mush them up with our fork. So we need one cup of pureed bananas. So I, you know, I just like to do it the old fashioned way where I just like to take a fork and then just kind of like mush it up. So two fairly large bananas actually equals one cup of mushed up bananas. So that's good to know. I mean, if you guys wanted to actually measure it, you totally can. You just wanna make sure that you mush it up as much as possible, because if not, then you're gonna get like big hunks of banana in your brownie, and you definitely don't want that. I mean, it tastes good, but it just doesn't look the best. Next, we need some peanut butter. So this is the all natural smooth peanut butter. Again, it's just smushed peanuts. Um, they literally just take like roasted peanuts and just like smush them together. And that's how they get this natural peanut butter. So in this recipe, we are gonna be using a half a cup of the smooth peanut butter. Next, we need some cocoa because we can't have brownies without cocoa. <laughs> So this is just organic cocoa. You don't have to get the organic cocoa. You can use whatever cocoa. So we do need a quarter cup of cocoa in this recipe. Next, we need some protein powder. So this is just some Lady Vaseline, because I love using it. It's the all-in-one nutritional shake, vanilla cake flavored. It is gluten-free and grass-fed whey, which is amazing. Only 100 calories per scoop, which is pretty sweet in my books. It's great for weight loss, immunity support, craving control, and digestive health. So that's why I like to use it on a regular basis. So in this recipe, we need two scoops of vanilla cake protein. And then of course we wanna mix that up. And then I always like to add a few mini chocolate chips to my brownies. So I'm just gonna add just kind of like a sprinkle there. That's probably like a quarter cup of mini chocolate chips. And then of course you wanna mix that up again. And then we wanna grab a mini muffin tin, just like this. And we're gonna be using some coconut oil spray. This stuff is like the bomb, you guys. If you guys don't use this in the kitchen, you're totally missing out. So we're just gonna just briefly kind of spray every single little muffin area. <laughs> and then, of course, we are gonna fill up the little muffin cups. So it doesn't really matter how much you fill it up because just because there's no baking powder or baking soda, you know, in these little brownies, so it's not like they're really gonna rise. So whatever you put in there, is pretty much how big your brownie is gonna be. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what we want to do is we actually want to bake these for about eight to 10 minutes in a oven at 350 degrees. Now, I always like to opt for like less time just because I like them a little bit more like that fudgy kind of taste, you know, kind of like a little bit more gooey. Ugh, they are so good like that. So again, like eight to 10 minutes. If you don't like it, kind of like that fudgy, kind of like gooey taste, you can always bake it a little bit more. If you want to even do like 10 to 12 minutes, it's completely up to you. Now, it doesn't really matter if you kind of bake it a little bit less just because there's no egg in it. So it's completely fine. And so with these little brownies, I'm also going to top them with a little bit of chocolate. So this is just some melted chocolate um, in the microwave. So it's just like a quarter cup of like chocolate chips that I just melted in the microwave. Again, to melt chocolate chips, you just want to put them in for like 10 to 20 seconds at a time. If you put them in any longer than that, then the chocolate is going to burn. So you just want to start with like a little kind of like increments of time in the microwave, stir it up, and then put it in again for like 10 to 20 seconds. And you just keep going until it's basically melted. And then this is what they look like. They are so good, you guys. So delicious. You guys totally have to try this recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Again, you guys totally have to make this recipe because it is so easy and super delicious. Um, so if you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section down below. You guys can totally see my kitty there in the background. Look at him. Pretty much call him trouble now because he's pretty much trouble. So uh, again, I hope you guys make this recipe and I can't wait to chat with you guys later. All right, love you, bye.